everyone and welcome to Valley Homes on TV. You're watching Channel 26 here in local Milpitas Channel um, where we air on Monday, Wednesday and Friday at 6.30 p.m. and Saturday and Sunday at 9 a.m. I'm your, uh, one of your co-hosts. I'm Debbie Indahar Giordano along with Todd Flesner. How you doing, Debbie? Guaranteed Mortgage. How are you? Terrific. Good to be here with you today. Yes. And uh, folks may recognize the, the background here. We're at a Milpitas landmark mm -hmm. at the Embassy Suites. Everybody knows Embassy Suites here in Milpitas, but we thought we'd bring folks inside today and give them a chance to meet the general manager, Terry Owens, Hello. and find out a little bit more about what Embassy Suites has to offer to our folks here in Milpitas. Great, right. terrific. Welcome, Terry. Hi, thank you for being yeah. here. I, uh, we were talking offline before we aired the show, and I remember when uh, being a longevity in the city, uh, this building was pink, and it mm -hmm. was, uh, it's nine stories, and I remember it was the tallest building in the city constructed at that time. So. Right, one of the biggest in the, around, for quite, sure. Quite a controversial <laughs> history, but quite a landmark. So. No longer pink. Great, well, uh, welcome, and um, let's begin. Tell us a little bit about yourself well, and your background. My name is Terry Owens. I'm the general manager here at Embassy Suites Milpitas. I've been here for about two years now, almost, almost three, I guess, is the truth. Um, but uh, as a general manager, before I came here, I worked as the general manager at another hotel in the Silicon Valley in Santa Clara, the Embassy Suites in Santa Clara. Um, Terrific. So, yeah. so, you know, you've been in the hotel industry for, for a little bit. Tell 22 little, years. 22 years. <laughs> what, what is it that got you interested in that? And what is it that brought you into the field? I, um, even as when I was in high school, I kind of made the decision I want to be in, in hotels. I just thought it was a very luxurious lifestyle. I always wanted to you travel. You watched too much TV. I did. <laughs> yes. I just thought it was going to be so fun and so interesting and I'd travel the world. Um, and so when I went to college, I got a job in a hotel, worked part time and kind of worked my way up after college nice. all through the hotels. And I've actually worked for this company, Hilton Worldwide, for 22 years. How about uh, college background? What, mm -hmm. what did it take to get the, to I, where you're at today? I actually went to the University of California at Santa Barbara. I got a sociology degree, um, and one of my first bosses always told me that's the best degree to get in hotels because you meet a lot of different people, uh -huh. you learn a lot of different things about okay. people. Um, after college, I went to San Diego and worked my way up in a hotel there, um, and eventually got asked to come to here in Silicon Valley in Santa Clara. and. Uh, in 2004 was the first time I became a general manager. Nice. Um, so about 10 years ago. Terrific. So um, now you've been here, like I said, for, for a little bit, three, for three years or so. Maybe tell us a little bit about this specific hotel here in Milpitas. So what are some of the features that what makes this you know, such a great this attraction? This is a great hotel. I was so happy to be able to get this hotel. It's got um, such a lot to offer all of our guests. It's such an easy sell for us mm -hmm. um, here in Milpitas. We have this beautiful atrium behind us. Um, lush atrium with water features and this is where we serve our free breakfast every morning we have free drinks every evening for all of our guests we have an indoor pool so you can really come here on the weekends and just stay here all day have fun have your free drinks get breakfast in the morning maybe go in the room and watch movies um, so it's a really it's a great hotel to, to work in and, and I really it's a really easy hotel for, for me to sell because everybody loves to stay at an embassy suite. So as far as an attraction to help the residents, mm -hmm. um, I actually was in a wedding here. Mm -hmm. I was a maid of honor. Yes. So I imagine folks can have weddings here. And then yes. there are uh, slumber parties for yes. uh, sleepovers, yes. birthday we, parties. We do all of those things. We actually have um, one of the largest ballrooms in the area. Um, so we do a lot of weddings, receptions, anniversary parties. Um, uh, reunions, all kinds of quinceañeras are a very popular thing, um, and we do a lot of social events in the hotel. And we also do a lot of guests that just come for the weekend um, with a couple of kids and, and enjoy, like I said, the pool, um, maybe get a, a movie in the room and, and enjoy breakfast in the morning, and, and parents don't have to clean up the house afterwards. <laughs> well, good. That's great. So, the, you know, a lot of our, our local folks really avail themselves mm -hmm. of what the, the embassy has to offer, absolutely. as well as our out-of-town guests. Yes, absolutely. We, we have a lot of people that come from all over the world to stay in the hotel. We do a lot of, um, being in the Silicon Valley, we get a lot of corporate travelers. Um, but a lot, our bread and butter really is the, you know, the locals and the, um, 
the leisure guests that want to stay in our hotel just to enjoy, maybe visit the area, visit friends and family or some of the local attractions. All right, Terry, Todd and I have also interviewed some other hotels in mm -hmm. the city. Mm -hmm. So in your opinion, what mm -hmm. sets your hotel apart from others? Um, I, I really do think it's the atrium and the all, the all suite property where we have lots of room to spread out um, so everybody can enjoy their time here. Um, I also really love the location of our hotel. We're right off of the 680 um, a freeway, which makes it really easy to get in and out of. We can go, you can go anywhere in the Bay Area or the Silicon Valley and be there very quickly. Um, and we, we're really close to dining and shopping. And it, it's just, we have the whole package here. And it is suits. gorgeous. Um, yeah. Maybe Ellen will show the pictures of the atrium and mm -hmm. the beauty of it. And it's such a clean and neat mm -hmm. hotel. It's yeah. really nice. Yeah. We've yeah. had meetings here before, Todd. Oh, absolutely. I think you know, a lot of folks who are watching you know, have been like us. They've been here for events, for uh, meetings. Uh, Rotary clubs. Yeah, for, yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. you know, so, or they you know, brought their family here and spent the weekend. Uh, mm -hmm. Me and my wife, we leave the kids home with a babysitter when we come here. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it's a nice little getaway for the locals, for sure. Yeah. And, and a lot of a lot of locals take advantage of that. Great. Great. Okay. Terrific. Um, what are some of the challenges that you have in terms of uh, managing a property like this and, and being in the hotel business? You know, um, there, there are a lot of challenges, but mostly it has to do with there's just a lot of moving parts in managing a hotel. And that's true of every any kind of hotel that you run. You have a lot of different kinds of guests that have a lot of different kinds of expectations and needs and, and meeting those needs and, and also uh, working with the team members. I have over 100 employees that work in this hotel and wow. from all over the world really in wow. different departments and we have a lot of moving parts and so the challenge is really to make it all work, all get together so that we can satisfy all of our guests and also all of our team members and make sure that they're happy as well. It's fun. Though. Good. Any, any interesting things that the guests leave behind? Oh my gosh. You know, I could I could sell so many phone chargers. The number of phone chargers that I have was just to take up a whole room. It's crazy. But no, nothing more interesting than that. All right. Well, if you are traveling, make sure that when you leave yes. the hotel room, take your phone charger. Okay, so Terry, you've hung out in this industry for 22 years. Yes. So you must have some rewards. What What do you What do you glean off of your career? You know, I, honestly, it might sound a little hokey, but I really do love hearing about the guest experiences in the hotel. I really do enjoy it when when guests come up to me and tell me, you know, I, I your hotel made my experience in the in the Silicon Valley better. I had a great business trip, and your team made it happen. I had a great wedding, or I had a great reception, and thank you so much for everything you did. And I, I do think that um, I get so much satisfaction and reward from just hearing about the successes that the hotel has. And, and we do a really good job. I'm really proud of my team. Terrific. How about uh, the future for the hotel here? Any, any big events on the, on the horizon or, or plans for this property? Well, you know, we do have the Super Bowl coming to town in a couple oh. of years. Mm -hmm. So we already got bookings for that. Okay. And we're really excited to, to see the finally Levi Stadium get finished. They're going to open in August. Um, so, and you know, we're already getting group inquiries and, and people talking about coming and staying in the area to, nice. to attend uh, games and things at the stadium. So well, we yeah. certainly like them to come to Milpitas yes. and spend their money. So. Absolutely, <laughs> they will be here. That would be, I, that'll I, be great. I already see evidence, it's coming. Great, sure. well, uh, we wanna thank you very much for being a guest on our Valley Homes on TV oh, show. Thank so you. here's a monogram t-shirt uh, for you. And, great, thank you very uh, much. And that's uh, for Keepskate. And also, um, uh, we'll put on the screen the contact information for Embassy Suites. If folks out there want to get hold of the hotel, yes. phone number, maybe um, email address or Thank you. whatever, and the address of the yes. place on Calaveras. Thank you very so, much. Thank you very All much right. for, thanks for coming. hosting. Well, we're delighted to be here. And yeah, thanks for sharing with our folks about what the hotel has to offer and being such an important part of our Milpitas business community. It's my pleasure. trends and styles may come and go. But the important things remain the same. Generation after generation, consistently there, creating moments and memories to last a lifetime. Like a true friend, the national parks have always been there for you. And now, you can be there for them. Support the National Park Foundation and help protect America's treasured places. 
I'll tell you, California is one great state, but it hasn't been a walk in the park. I mean, they call me invasive species. Nice, huh? Or hungry pests. Like I'm some kind of bad guy or something. I mean, do I look invasive? No. You should think of me as a culinary tourist. Yeah, I'm sort of a footloose foodie of your fields and trees. I just want to sample the local fare. Just a taste, really. And I'm not the pushy type. People help me get around, mostly on the things they move and pack. Did you know I'm completely vegetarian? Yeah, very healthy. Hungry pests. Oh, gotta run. I do have a lot of mouths to feed. The truth is, hungry pests threaten to devour California's trees and agriculture. It's up to each of us to learn to leave hungry pests behind. Go to HungryPests.com and get the facts. A message from the USDA. Come on! See what I mean? We're in January 2014. A new year. New year. Happy New Year, Todd. Happy New Year to you as well. How are you doing? Terrific. How's the year going so far? Hey, so far so good. I'm, I'm really looking forward to um, 2014. And, you know, this last year actually was, was a interesting year in the real estate market, a good year in a lot of ways. Right. Well, there was lots that came out in the newspaper. Um, economic signs gathering steam yes. for 2013. Uh, housing solidifies a year's gain. And I think that that speaks volumes to what really happened to the year of 2013. We'll, I'll go into the housing market and the stats uh, real quickly, but uh, it was a phenomenal gain uh, on all spectrums here in the Valley. So, Well, yeah, we, we definitely saw a bounce back, not only in values, but, you know, a, a solidification of the market, absolutely. So talk to me a little bit. Um, here's another article just recently, a few weeks ago, Fed Chief Economic Gaining. Why don't you right. talk about the economic uh, indicators that are... Well, um, yeah, the, the economy really is, is gaining some, some ground here. We're seeing some, some of the indicators, uh, gross domestic product GDP growth is in the 2 to 3 percent range, which is, you know, is a, a healthier sign than, okay. than what it had been. A little bit you know, lagging for what you'd normally see in a recovery sort of cycle. But, um, you know, we're, we're not stagnant any longer, so, that, so that's good. Um, we're starting to see the unemployment numbers come down. We're, we're down to 7% now, unemployment numbers. And I think maybe predictions for 6% for this coming year also. Well, yeah, 6%. And, you know, the, the Fed kind of is, is eyeing that number as well. They're, they're looking at two things, uh, GDP growth of 2 to 3% and unemployment of 6% as their signals to begin to, to increase interest rates um, Again, so we'll be watching for that as we move forward here. But we're, we're we're finally starting to see really some solidification of the economic numbers. Terrific, terrific. Well, um, let's talk about pending home sales. This is an interesting article in the, in the National Association of Realtors. Uh, the NAR chief economist says we may have reached a cyclical low because of the positive fundamentals of job creation and housing formation are likely to foster a fairly stable level of contract activity in 2014. Although the final months of 2013 are finishing off on a soft note, the year as a whole will end up with the best year in seven years for the market. Perfect. So, well, and, and for buyers and sellers, we're, we're returning a little bit more, I think, to a normal market, would you say, in terms of the I'd motivation so, for properties that are coming on market? Absolutely. You know, we, we don't have this inventory of, of the short sales in distressed properties like you know, we'd had the last several years. Correct. Correct. Okay, well, yep. good. Good. So um, I'll give you some quick stats. Here we are for the month of November 2012. Average home price, single family, was 650000 The median price was 620000 That shifted a year later in November of 2013 to a number, I should have you guess, but I won't do that to you, um, 718000 for uh the average price and the median price was 650000 That's a little bit lower than I expected. I think there is some fluctuation month to month, so that is kind of a little bit on the low side. We'll see that pick up here in the next few months. But I'll tell you where really um, the market rose was the condominium and townhome. The average price in 2012 of November was 336000 
and the median price was 351000 That shifted to an average price of 471000 and a median price of 434000 So if you owned a condo, you did really, really well. Yeah, those, those are big turnaround Which, numbers there. It, it always surprises me. We've talked about the, the new growth, a lot of the new build-out here in Milpitas. Right. And I would have thought that the market would have been oversaturated with the product. Mm -hmm. But um, I, I believe it's still a good entry level, affordable, uh, and a lot of young families don't even care that much for a yard. They, they just like that lifestyle that you can just drop and go. So. Well, I, th I think, yeah, there are some changes in terms of expectations that, uh, that folks have in terms of the type of housing that they have, you know, the, the need for a yard and the maintenance and those sort of things. That works for, for a number of people. But, but for others, because they're, they're busy, they're on the go, and, you know, they don't want to have to worry about the maintenance that goes along with that. Right, right. And so we've seen some shifts, I think, from what traditionally we've seen. So how about interest rates? Where are they going? Well, um, I think we'll see them go up during the course of the year, although uh, for the time being they still are, are very, very uh, attractive. We're about the mid-fours, about 4.5% for a 30-year fixed, 4 and 5 eighths for the high balance uh, loans. So, so good. So, yeah, outstanding. Historically very, very good. Um, again, as we see the economic indicators um, gaining strength, we'll probably start to see interest rates go up. Uh, the other thing we talked about the Fed here earlier in some of their remarks, um, the, the Federal Reserve is starting to unwind something they call QE, quantitative easing. And so they're backing off their purchase program of mortgage bonds, and they're starting to unwind that. And that'll mm -hmm. also, um, uh, because of that decreased demand, uh, we'll probably start to see some interest rates creep up with that. Some of that's been baked into the market, though, okay. already, okay. that expectation. Sounds good. Sounds right. good. So maybe the future looks like interest rates will continue to rise a little bit? I, I wouldn't be surprised to see them go up a little bit. Again, they're, they're still historically terrific rates. Um, I mean, the first part of the year here is a great time to buy because, um, it is, as you said, uh, um, with the numbers, they were a little bit soft, you know, seasonally in terms of inventory and demand for housing mm -hmm. and still great rates, so it's a good time to jump in. Right, folks. Uh, Todd, let folks know where they can reach you. Uh, best way to get me an uh, email, tflesner at gm west.com and your book yes my book hold one uh, hold the <laughs> hold the phone you've got a book we've talked about that a couple couple years ago in the show and i like the folks to remind them about the fact that you authored the book um yes mortgage made easy and this really is a, a mortgages 101 it helps to answer the the question gives folks a guide to things that that they ought to be looking at as they consider a mortgage and walks them through that process it's a quick easy read um and it, if you're Can interested somebody just uh email you or give you a call and you'll Absolutely. send them a copy? I'd be delighted to do that. Terrific. And uh, where, how about a phone number, too? 408-921-0669. Uh, wow, what a nice gift. Thank you very much, Todd. Uh, That's my, great. My gift for the new year. <laughs> <laughs> and if you have anything you want to talk about for 2014 on our Valley Homes on TV show, or uh, you want to be a guest, or you know anything you want to put on here, you can reach me at Giordano. G-I-O-R-D-A-N-O-D-J at AOL.com. Looking forward to a, a great 2014, and we'll see you for our next wrap-up in February. Yep, and um, let's go 2014. It'll be a, a great year. Great year. Thank you very much.